Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video, we will study the CompTIA Security Plus exam questions and answer. So if you are planning to sit for the CompTIA Security Plus exam, then this video and the upcoming video will help you prepare for the exam. And I'm confident that going through this and all the upcoming video will help you pass the exam. So without further ado, let's get started with the questions and answers. So the question number one in today video is and uh, the topic of our exam question in today video is the social engineering so the question number one is that the practice of using a telephone system to, to manipulate a user into disclosing confidential information is known as and the options are veiling pair phishing wishing and forming so these are all the techniques of social engineering and the social engineering techniques that an attacker uses via a telephone system using uh, audio or voice is known as and the correct answer is wishing so wishing is the correct answer here uh, the v actually stands for voice so the voice communication is used to manipulate the user here we can see that an attacker can use device or the telephonic communication to ask for your credit card information and he can personate himself as a credit card company representative. So this is an example of social engineering phishing and the wire is used, the, the uh, method that is used to carry out this social engineering attack is the telephonic communication or the telephone system. So the question number two is that what type of spam relies on text-based communication? And again, the options are wishing, spam, low snorfing, or bit. And the correct option is spam. So the spam stands for spam or instant messaging. So the method in which the attacker uses the instant messaging, instant messaging or the text-based communication is known as spam, and the spam stands for spam or instant messaging. So question number three is that a social engineering technique whereby attackers, under disguise of a legitimate request, attempts to gain access to confidential information is commonly referred to as. And again, the options are phishing privilege escalation, backdoor access, and shoulder surfing. And the correct option is phishing. So phishing is the generic term uh, using which the attacker wants to or uh, attempts to gain access to your confidential information. Question number four is that which of the following answer refers to meshing? And the options are social engineering technique, email communication, spam or internet telephony, text messaging or spam or internet messaging or spam. And the correct two options are, we have to select two answers. It is the social engineering technique. The first correct answer is social engineering technique. And the second is text messaging. So the smishing, again, uh, we can reduce that S stands for social engineering and the M stands for messaging. So a method in which the social engineering and the text messaging is used to attack a user is known as smishing, social engineering plus text messaging. Question number five is that which of the following terms is commonly used to describe an unsolicited or unsolicited advertising message? And the options are spyware, adware, malware, or spam. And the correct option is yes, the spam. Most of you have must have received if you have uh, used email. Uh, messaging that you will receive in a routine a lot of messages 
advertising different companies or different services so these all messaging are known as spam this category is known as spam where you receive lot of advertising messages unsolicited messages question number six is that phishing scams targeting a specific group of people are referred to as and the options are wishing share phishing spoofing and whaling and the correct option is spare phishing so the spare phishing is the uh, a technique of phishing but it is specific and it targets specific group of people here generic uh, people are targeted while uh, here some specific group of people are targeted so the, uh, that's why this technique is known as spare phishing in computer security the the term dumpster diving is used to describe a practice of sifting through trash for discarded documents containing sensitive data and we have two options whether this statement is true or false and the correct option is true yes dump, uh, dumpster diving means to go through the dumps uh, through the trash to gain some meaningful information about the company or an organization question number 8 is that a situation in which an unauthorized person can view another's display or keyboard to learn their password or other confidential information is referred to as and again options are spear phishing tailgating shoulder stuffing and spoofing and the correct option is shoulder shoulder surfing so as the name indicates shoulder surfing means looking over someone's shoulder to see their display or their password and gain some meaningful or confidential information question number 9 is that which of the following answers refer to characteristic features of farming we have to select three answer and the options are domain hijacking traffic redirection fraudulent website password attack or credential harvesting and the correct options are refer redirection fraudulent website and credential harvesting these all are the methods of or the features of farming question number 10 is that what is tailgating and the options are acquiring unauthorized access to confidential data looking over someone's shoulder to get information gaining unauthorized access to restricted area by following another person or manipulating a user into disclosing confidential information and the correct option is gaining unauthorized access to a restricted area or a building by following and by following another person by another person mean here we mean that an authorized person so this technique is known as tailgating question number 11 is that phishing scams targeting people holding high positions in organization or business are known as and again the options are wishing mishing whaling and farming and the correct option is whaling so when you let's suppose if the attacker target the ceo of an organization using spam or through uh, phishing then this technique is known as whaling because he is targeting the most uh, important or uh, high value target that's why it is this is known as whaling question number 12 is that which of the following is used in data url phishing and the options are prepending typo spatting pretexting and domain hijacking and the correct option is prepending so prepending is the technique which is used in data url phishing question number 13 is that what what social engineering attack relies on identity theft and uh, options are impersonation dumpster diving watering hole attack or shoulder surfing and the correct option is 
impersonation so here when you impersonate some other person by stealing their identity or their data then this uh, form of social engineering attack is known as impersonation that is used through identity theft question number 14 is that which of the terms listed below refers to a platform used for watering hole attacks so watering hole attacks is a specific type of attack and we have to select the platform that is used to carry out this attack and the options are mail gateways websites pvx system and web browser and the correct option is websites so the watering hole attack is carried out using websites so that's all for today so if you want to receive a video regarding the Thumbtia security plus uh, i will upload other videos on other uh, security plus topics so please subscribe and stay tuned to receive the latest videos thank you all